it's time to jump into some hot topics tonight. First up, Glamour Magazine in the UK is facing backlash for their latest cover. Take a look. It features a very pregnant transgender man named Logan Brown. Brown was born female and now identifies as a transgender man. A lot of critics are saying the image mocks pregnancy and biological women. Let's bring in our guests to weigh in on this. We have with us actors, film actor and film critic James Joffrian, influencer Houston Lala, Mount Malucci, and Vanessa Hernandez. Glad to have you all here on the Factor Uncensored. So, Mal, let's begin with you. What are your thoughts about this cover and how people are responding to it? Uh, my mom used to always tell me something back when I was small. Mind your business. <laughs> so, <laughs> good policy. Uh, yeah, it was a policy I, I learned early on. Um, yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, James, maybe you know. What what are your thoughts on this this cover? Well, my thoughts on the cover is that I looked at what Fred Savage stated in the article, saying that. Uh, he feels as if that the magazine missed the mark on what Pride Month is about, about, you know, people coming out celebrating, coming together in acceptance and, you know, celebrating each other of what they choose to or what they do in life, who they choose to love. Yeah. And so what do you think this cover achieved? Just a point of controversy? I believe controversy because, you know, controversy sells. You try to get more um, more numbers up, get everything up as well, because like they said, Pride Month is about, you know, accepting, celebrating. They could have went another route and said, hey, you know, this person that was, you know, trying to hide this, you know, who they love and brought that to the light and talked about that. They could have um, went that route. But All right. La, la, let's hear from you. Uh, what I get from that is that it's 2023. Mm -hmm. So they're starting to expose things like this or... Um, bring it out and I think the guy had said that it is possible to get pregnant being transgender well yeah you were born a female so of mm -hmm. course you can get pregnant but they're making it seem like I'm a man and I can get pregnant well no that's not the case so it, it's a little controversial I feel like but yeah I'm not surprised to see that I mean it's 2023 and it's coming to light Vanessa, your thoughts on this? Uh, I kind of go hand in hand with the mind your business uh, situation. <laughs> um, I think I did a little research prior to, uh, I read the articles, I did the research, and I got to hear a little bit of what um, Logan was saying. Mm -hmm. And he said what people tend to forget throughout all of this is ask him as a person, is he okay? And I think that as people, like, we forget to, like, he's a person too. It's 2023. We need to mind our business. And although it, uh, like, brings up controversy, um, you just leave it alone. Let him do him. Live his life. If he wants to be on the cover of a magazine, let him do it. All right. I got you guys. Yeah. Next up, this Little Mermaid reboot just can't catch a damn break. The movie <laughs> is now being criticized by Marcus Ryder, a British black activist. He says while the casting of Haley Bailey is as the iconic Disney princess is great for representation, he warns the movie is dangerous for erasing slavery. Was he reaching? <laughs> Is there something there? La la, was he reaching? Is he trying to just get into the fray? We know what the real controversy is. Yeah, of course. That the Little Mermaid is now black. Yeah. And there's even a, a website that says Christians against the Little <laughs> I love Christians that they're the Little I love anyway, that they're doing that. And that there's a know, real controversy. Yeah. Is this a fake controversy? Is this somebody trying to get into the fray? I think so. And honestly, like, do you think mermaids were real? They're doing so much that I'm like, I don't even think mermaids were I real. I think Santa Claus is real because I saw him when I was 13 <laughs> hey. and he passed over my neighborhood in Baton Rouge, I promise you. Oh, I okay. But anyway, back to the mermaid. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, um, I feel like they're definitely reaching. Obviously, it's just going to become controversy, but I love that she played the actress and that they switched it up, and I think it's awesome. I don't look that, that deep into it. All right. Yeah. What do you guys say? Mm -hmm. I'll say I, this. Oh, I, Mr. Fantastic, you stretching. You reaching, bro. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic all the way. Because it's like, number one, the kid's not worried about that right mm -hmm. now. They want to go see Earl Little Mermaid. And then on top of that, there were multiple mermaids in the film that were of different races. Mm -hmm. King Trike was getting down there, but you might as well say that. So, <laughs> yeah. what, you want, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> 
I, I agree totally with him. Like, you know, uh, the kids don't care what color the marmahead was. Listen, I was thrown in the Mississippi River as a kid. I didn't see a marmahead. We, we had to swim. First of all, we had to swim. You just can't throw that on us. Listen, I grew up. I grew up. There. I had to swim. I had to learn how to swim. My cousin threw me in the river and told me to swim. That's how I learned how to swim. I didn't see a marmaid. So to me, the marmaid wasn't real. So it could be any color you want the marmaid to be. And this like, is for the kids. Why are right. adults exactly. even reaching on that? I feel mm -hmm. the same way. Like, like I, I don't feel like. Do mermaids really exist? And how is a kid going to know what does a mermaid really look like? Are, are they purple, green? Yeah. Doesn't matter. I, I think they're trying to make something out of nothing. And I, like I said, it's for the kids. Leave Back it to, to the 2023, kids. Back to 2023, though. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And and as we wrap up, and I'll just give you this, Lala, because you are known as Houston, Lala. And many people are saying that Houston is now becoming a destination spot. Others are saying, what the hell are you thinking? Houston is disgusting. It's not a destination <laughs> vacation spot. Your thoughts it in is. response to that? Houston is lit. We got <laughs> some of the best food, bars, clubs, and it's just a vibe. This is Texas. Like, Houston is always all over the net. I see it always pop up. It really would be one of the top cities that I would say a lot of people want to visit. And whoever's saying no, they're just hating. There you go. Stop hating. Haters. <laughs> Still ahead.